name is Hans Koster and I'm the president and owner of Aquamotion. Aquamotion is the innovation leader of hot water recirculation. We make circulators, stainless, cast iron, ECM and valves. In 2018, we received the Innovation Award for the most innovative plumbing product. Some may remember me from uh, when I owned Sparco, a company that made the famous Aquamix mixing valves, power vents and radians for the uh, large radiant heating manufacturers. Today I would like to introduce you to a new business opportunity, hot water recirculation. Every time you sell and install a hot water tank or tankless heater, offer the homeowner a hot water recirculation kit. A hot water recirculation kit will get you additional sales and income and for the homeowner, he'll get the benefit of saving time, money and water. Nine million hot water tanks are installed every year in the United States. With that kind of volume, there is plenty of business opportunity for you to grow your business. The cost of a hot water recirculation system is very small. It costs between $200 and $500 for a kit plus installation. And the payback for such a product is one to three years. The homeowner gets the great benefits of never having to wait for hot water, saving water, saving energy, saving on sewer fees. When you install a recirculation kit, you will get letters like these testimonials that we have received. For example, this is the first time I have hot water at the faucet. When I opened it and I've lived in this house forever, I love hot water under sink recirculation pump. It really works. Signed by Judge Howard Lipsy. Another one is, hello, I bought and installed your product with built-in timer in our home and we love it. It's reduced our wait time for hot water from minutes to seconds. Thank you so much. What is hot water recirculation? Hot water recirculation uh, works like this. When no one uses hot water, turns on the, uh, the sink, the hot water line cools. So what hot water recirculation does, it moves the cooled water back through the cold line into the water heater, thereby not wasting water when you turn it on waiting for the hot water. Hot water systems work with a pump, with a sensor, with a timer, with a switch and a bypass valve. Different manufacturers use different uh, arrangements to accomplish the same thing. This is about hot water comfort. How long do you wait for the hot water to arrive at your sink and your faucet when you turn it on? 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes? While you wait, you waste up to 12,000 gallons of hot water down the drain. Hot water recirculation prevents all that. A US government study states that a family with four taps or four people wastes approximately 12,000 gallons of water down the drain. If you have more taps, like five, it could be up to 15,000 gallons. Residential water cost is increasing all the time. A study shows that over the last eight years, every year, water cost increased by 8% and trust me, it will continue to increase. Potable water is an essential resource for our survival. It is in short supply in many populated and dry areas around the country. It Hot water recirculation helps reduce the water surge. There is a hot water recirculation kit for every type of plumbing. 
new construction retrofit. The pipe that goes from the tank to the last faucet in the home is called a single pipe system. When there is a return line from the last faucet back to the hot water heater, we call it a dedicated return line. There are systems for under sink installation, systems for dedicated return line, and the greatest savings are achieved usually with a timer. A very simple mechanical timer. You set the time when you want hot water. For the rest of the time the system is down and you don't waste any energy or any money. In California the plumbing codes require that you have an on-demand system. That means the homeowner has to press a button to demand the pump to come on and provide the hot water. There are other systems available. Uh, for example, you can have a, a demand control with a, with a Wi-Fi, talk to Alexa or whatever. This is a typical under sink hot water installation. The way it works, the pump has a built-in sensor and it senses the temperature on the last sink in a home. When the temperature drops to 85 degrees at the sink, the sensor turns on the pump with the switch and runs for about a minute, minute and a half, depending on the length of the pipe, and move the lukewarm water from here back into cold water line. So the sensor comes on about three times an hour average and runs for a very short time. So there is always hot water at the sink between 85 and 105 because when 105 degree water arrives, the pump shuts off. The cost of running this pump is about three dollars a year because it only runs maybe three minutes, four minutes, an hour and it meets the code, California Code 24. Now, built into the unit, we have a timer and it has a cover. We can take it off and it has three switches, uh, three positions on, on timer and off. So, let's say we are gonna set it on timer. That's right in the middle. The first thing you do, you set the time. There's an arrow right here, so on the outside is the time. So let's say it's 7 o'clock at night, for example. So we set it right here, 19 hours, 24 hour clock. Set it here. And if we want to have hot water from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock, we simply push these tabs to the outside. So 17 hours, that's 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock. So now we would get hot water, the pump would be operational during these times. If you go on a vacation, you simply put it on off. If you want to run it all the time, put it on on. And over here you can see where the sensor is that uh, records the temperature. Now this installation uh, is normally you have the, uh, the cord plugs into the outlet. What you see here is a receiver and if someone doesn't want to use a timer they use a wireless button and you simply press the button that sends the signal to the receiver and turns on the pump. So that's we're showing two different approaches with this unit. But the installation is so simple. It can install in 10 minutes. Look at this. You simply shut off the uh, hot and the cold. Remove the connection to the cold faucet and to the hot faucet and insert this little T and this T. Use the two hoses that go with the kit and connect it, screw it onto the pump and tighten it with the, uh, with the wrench. And you're done. Simple installation. This is the Aquaflash recirculation system. This product won the Innovation Award in 2018 for the most innovative plumbing product. 
We use this when a homeowner doesn't have an electrical outlet under the sink. And so by using this valve, you don't need electricity. Assume this is the hot water tank. The pump sits on the hot water tank and mounts with a union to the outlet. Under the sink, we disconnect the hot from the uh, hot angle stop valve and insert the flash valve. Connect the hose to a T on the uh, cold side and the installation is complete. This valve will maintain 90 degrees, 93 degrees of hot water at the sink all the time when the timer is set for the system to be operating. I explained the purpose of the bypass valve of moving the lukewarm water into the cold side. The key manufacturers in the, that make bypass valves are Acma Motion, Gromfoss and Taco. And on this slide you can see the Taco valve on the right. They use a plastic valve with a bimetal disc to control the temperature. Gromfoss uses a, an element, like a wax element, to control the temperature to 90 degrees. We have three different valves. One is sized to the small circulator, the aqua flash. The one on the right is the universal one that can take pump pressures up to 21 feet. And the one on the bottom, the ODR valve, is a stainless steel valve that is designed, has been designed for tankless heaters. It has very large flow rate. A CV of one. This is a recirculation system for a tankless heater. Recirculation and tankless heaters are a difficult uh, combination because the tankless heaters manufacturers are very concerned about the life of their product. A tankless heater require a certain flow rate and they need to see pressure in order to turn on. So on this system, we have a flow control and the check valve from the pump into the cold side and the T here with the check valve. So we're establishing a loop so that tankless always sees the pressure from one gallon per minute going through it and it can turn on immediately the minute the temperature setting is reached. Under the sink, we uh, install a T, a hose, and a bypass valve of stainless steel that provides sufficient flow again to turn on the tankless heaters. This is a kit for dedicated return lines. The pump is installed on the return before the tank or tankless heater. And it provides a special long tailpiece so you can mount it against the wall rigid application. Here is the sensor that senses the temperature. When it's 85 degrees in the return line, the pump turns on for a minute, minute and a half, and moves the water in the dedicated return line into the cold line and out through the hot uh, supply line. Again, this uh, timer can be set it has three positions on, on timer and off. And each 15 minutes, if they're pushed out like this, activates the system. So during the time, the timer is set to be active. Very simple, nice system. It works with these uh, union uh, connections or with a flange connection that fits right on the return line of the tankless heater. Plugs in, you're done. Here is the latest addition to the hot water recirculation market. A pump that can be installed outside. From California to the Carolinas, tankless heaters are installed outside of the home. That saves all the money for expensive air intake and air exhaust systems. And there was no pump on the market before that could be used outside. Now there is one available, the AquaShield, 
and it is installed right below the tankless heater or anywhere. The pump comes with union fittings, union connections or flanged connections. The pump is freeze protected, bug protected, sprinkler protected with this cabinet here. And it's UL listed and you can open it and you can secure it and lock it and prevent tampering. On this side you can see the sensor. The pump turns on at 115 degrees and shuts off at 125. That is different from all the other indoor uh, installations because outdoors the temperature can be quite high. The benefit to the homeowner using an outdoor pump is savings and greater choice of manufacturers of tankless heaters. These are on-demand or on-call controls. You can use a wireless button, for example, press it, you can carry it around, and this sends a signal to the receiver. The pump is plugged here, this is plugged into the wall. So this way the homeowner controls when he wants hot water. This is also part of the code in California. Or you can use a toggle switch. You can put five toggle switches in a home on one receiver. Or you can use a motion sensor. Install that in the bathroom, you walk in, it sends a signal and turns on the pump. Naturally, uh, when you use one of these uh, controls, uh, the uh, pump still has to move the lukewarm water into the cold side before you get the hot water. While the other system that I explained earlier, you always have instant hot water right at the same point. This kind of sums it up. I hope you have a better understanding what hot water recirculation is all about and I hope you will sell a ton of these wonderful products and help your customers get the benefits of instant hot water and energy savings. Thank you so much. Please send me an email if you have any questions.